Hey guys! Today I'm going to do a little instructional video on how to mount this Spartan blade to a blank Boedemann pup. I did a previous video on the Boedemann pup mounting system, but for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's a really stable and versatile way to mount knives, lights, holsters, and other gear to anything that has pals or molly webbing on it, such as vests, bags, belts, anything like that. This is a pup and you can get them either pre-drilled with this whole pattern or you can get blanks like this which are a do-it-yourself version because you drill your own holes wherever you need them to be. I'll be using this standard size pup to mount the Spartan blade but Boedemann also sells a mini and you can mix and match the sizes depending on what you've got to mount. Standards take up two columns of webbing and minis take up one column, but they do both use two rows of webbing. For bigger stuff, you might want to use two standards, or if you need to use three columns of webbing with no gap, you can use a standard and a mini side by side. They come packaged like this, and minis always come as a set of two. The pre-drilled pups are super convenient and they're great for a lot of commonly used gear mounted at normal angles like 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, or 6 o'clock. For example, this is the holster that I use for the SIG 1911 Extreme. It was made by Off the Grid Concepts. And as you can see, the holes on the pre-drilled pup line up perfectly with the holes on this holster. They also worked great on this Boedemann blade that I mounted to a molly belt in my other pups video. So I'll go ahead and put a link to that below. Obviously not everything out there is gonna line up perfectly with the holes on the pre-drilled pup or maybe just not as many holes as you would like. So that's where the blank comes in. For example, with all the Raven concealment holsters that I've got, I've only been able to get a maximum of two holes to line up with the pre-drilled pups. And they don't quite line up perfectly. They're a little bit off. So even though the pre-drilled ones will work, I think that the blanks would be better for Raven holsters so that you could have at least three matching holes. So this awesome little knife that I'll be mounting today is the CQB tool from Spartan Blades and CQB stands for Close Quarters Battle. This is a little ring knife designed to get someone off of you quickly and I will be doing a full review of this knife later but if you want to check it out in the meantime I will put a link to their site below this video. I'm going to mount it to a blank pup since the holes on it don't line up with the pre-drilled pup very well in any configuration that I've tried. I've only been able to get about two holes to line up and not really all that well so the blank is really perfect for mounting something unusual like this or if you want it mounted at a different ride height or maybe an odd angle. You've really got infinite mounting possibilities with the blank since you're drilling your own holes. And with this particular blade, there are tons of mounting options, depending on how many columns of webbing you've got available to use or what angle you want it mounted at. If you want a vertical mount, you can use one standard size pup, and that's what I'll be drilling today. Or if you want a slight angle, you can use one standard, the standard plus a mini, or you can use two minis. You can also use one standard plus a mini like this for a more horizontal mount. And I drilled these two blanks earlier to try on my molly belt, so this is what that looks like. Now the more holes that you can get to line up with your gear, the sturdier your setup will be. So you really should drill as many mounting points as possible and try to get at least four screws through if you can. That's a definite benefit with using a blank because with a pre-drilled pup you might be able to get two or three holes to line up but with a blank you can drill as many as you want. And as long as you're not drilling your holes too close together you can drill holes wherever you want to into this and you can just keep drilling holes until it's how you want it because it's not meant to be pretty. <laughs> so um, if you screw it up when you're drilling you can just turn it around 
and re-drill because you can mount it that way too. Okay, once you have an idea of how you want your gear mounted, the first step for using a blank is very important. Weave your blank pup or pup down through your webbing and then you set your gear on it angled exactly how you want it. And I'm going to do a vertical mount today. This is extremely important, especially if you're using two pups, because the way they lay next to each other on a table will most likely be different than how it actually fits onto your molly. Then once you've got it where you want it, you mark your holes one at a time. And I found that a silver Sharpie marker works great for this. Then you just take the pup off of your webbing and swivel the straps out of the way so you don't accidentally drill into those. Then you just drill each hole one at a time, but definitely keep lining it back up after each time that you drill to make sure that every hole is being put in the right spot. And the drill bit size that you need is 13 64ths. After you're done drilling your holes and your gear lines up how you want it, you get out the hardware packet that came with your pup and that has all the screws, screw posts, and rubber spacers that you'll need to actually attach your gear to the pup and then the pup to your molly belt or vest. So take your pup and then you take the long screw posts and put them through the back of your holes and then you put the rubber spacers on top of the screw posts. Then you take your pup and you weave it down through your webbing and to secure it onto your molly you take the short screw posts and you put them through the back of the bottom eyelets and then you use the screws to sandwich it together. And then you use the other screws to attach your gear to the pup. So this is the finished product. It is very low profile. It is very secure. Um, it looks great. It'll work great. And it was a fun little project. You can also take apart Blade Tech and Safari Land holsters and mount them onto Molly using the blanks as well. This is a Safari Land 6005 drop leg holster that I took apart previously and mounted to a blank pup. So now it can be put onto a molly belt. The way I did it first involved cutting three little sticks from Q-tips to put through the screw holes on the holster. Then I took a silver paint marker and blotted the ends of the Q-tips with paint. And while it was wet, I set the blank pup against it at the angle I wanted. Then just to double check before I started drilling, I measured the distance between the holes on the holster and also the paint marks on the pup to make sure they were the same. And then I drilled each hole one at a time, making sure each one lined up with the holster after I drilled it. And then I screwed the finished pup onto the holster. I'll also put a link below to the Military Morons webpage where he also mounted a Safari Land holster using a blank pup. He did use a different method than I did, and he mounted an ALS holster. But he did a great write-up with photos if you want to check that out too. All the variations of the pups can be purchased from Boedemann.com. And these are a 100% American-made product, which is extremely important to me. They're $19.95 each, and they were designed by Andrew Bewiedemann, who's just a really great guy, and I met him at last year's SHOT Show. Andrew is also an amazing artist, and I'm personally a huge fan of his work, so if you get a chance, definitely check out his pinup style designs on different shirts, stickers, patches, and fun stuff at Bewiedemann.com. And if you like any of what you see on Bowiedemann.com or Bowiedemannblades.com, which are the knives made by his brother Ben, 
definitely sign up for the email newsletters on both sites, and that'll keep you connected with what cool new things are offered from both Andrew and his brother Ben. So this is just a really flexible mounting option, and it works great. So if you have a little bit of time and a desire for a do-it-yourself project at home, um, you can definitely get your gear mounted right where you want it with the pups. So thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.